Welcome to Whiskey's a Journey. My name is Peter Fasciano. Today, we're gonna keep this five bottle flight Friday going, and we're gonna be taking a look at some bottled and bond flights that you guys can put together. Or I shouldn't say you guys put together because I want you guys to let me know in the comments if you're gonna serve a flight of five bottles, all bottle and bond, what would they be? You're entertaining friends, they're coming over or you're going over to their house and you're bringing a bunch of bottles with you. And just like always, you're going to give them a sixth special bottle at the very end. So do me a favor, let me know in the comments down below if you are going to host a tasting with bottled and bond bourbons, what would they be? And what would your sixth bottle be, a special bottle just to end the night and tell everybody thank you? If you guys are new to whiskey and you guys have heard the term bottle and bond, but you're not sure exactly what it is, a bottle and bond is just an act that was passed in 1897 to ensure the authenticity and the quality of the whiskey that you were drinking was actually safe because apparently back in the day, there were some pretty shady happening with whiskey. And it's saying that the whiskey has to be made in a single distillery within a single distilling season. And it has to be bottled under the supervision of the federal government. It has to be aged a minimum of four years, but it could be older. And the bottles need to be bottled at 100 proof. So with that out of the way, let me go ahead and get into my first bottle. I have these things in order of price. So the first one I have here is Evan Williams, Bottle and Bond, 100 proof. And this is coming in just about $18.99, 20 bucks basically. Now, I hate to use this word, but this smells like a typical bourbon. Vanilla, brown sugar, caramel, all those things are in here. Get a little bit of peanut dust as well and some honey. On the palate, you definitely pick up some barrel char and there is a good amount of spice on this one. All around, I think it's a pretty good bottle to start the flight off. It's inexpensive. You can also put this into a mixer if you're doing some cocktails during this flight as well, but that's completely and totally up to you. And I think this is a pretty good value for what you're actually getting in the bottle. Moving on to bottle number two. Early times bottled and bond, and this is a one liter bottle coming in at $21.99. Now this one is gonna offer a little bit different of a nose and a palate than the Evan Williams did. This one comes across as extremely sweet. And the sweetness that you're getting here is a fruity sweet. Now, fruity sweet, brown sugar, caramel, touch of spice, not nearly as spicy as the Evan Williams. But for a liter bottle, for just about 20 bucks, can't be beat. The finish on this is rather short compared to the Evan Williams. And I think the spice with this one lingers around a little bit more it, I mean, it kind of reminds you that you're drinking alcohol, but on the palate, the early times is a little bit softer. Moving on to number three, we got Wilderness Trail Bottle and Bond. This one is coming in at $47.99. Let's move these over just a little bit. There you go. And this one, just like the others, are gonna offer something a little bit different. This one's a little bit more vanilla and caramel forward than the others. The spice is there on the nose, and I get a little bit more oak in this one compared to the other two. It's slightly nutty on the palate, along with some good spice, and I have a tiny amount of fresh tobacco notes in here as well. And it has been my experience in the past that this one, the longer you drink it, the more you let it open, the better it gets. And on the finish, there's a slight bubblegum note. Solid, all around whiskey. Moving on to bottle number four. Heaven Hill Bottle and Bond. This one is actually coming in at a seven years of age. And the price point is coming in just about the same as the Wilderness Trail we're looking at, $48.99. So just about $50. On the nose, I get a little bit of banana. It's honey, it's nutty, it's sweet. And on the palate, yeah, that's all vanilla, oak, and spice. This one coming in at seven years of age, I think the oak is definitely coming through. This one's gonna be a little bit harder to find than the other three. This one, I believe, took the place of an earlier bottle and bond. And since then, I've seen this only one time and it was on the allocated counter with Total Wine and More. But just like all the others, I think this sits nicely into this five bottle flight. Moving on to bottle five, this one might be a little bit of a controversial pick, but I like it. We have Henry McKenna Bottled and Bond. This is actually a single barrel, 10 year old Bottled and Bond. And people either love or hate this bottle. And I do believe that 
the reason why people are starting to hate on this bottle is because it is jumping up in price quite a bit. This one cost me just about $70. First thing that jumps out is the oak. There's some spice here. And the sweetness that I get is some vanilla. Well-rounded, this one does not necessarily have that ethanol burn that the others do. And there's a good amount of vanilla, honey, caramel, and brown sugar notes in here. And that oak is there, but it's not dominating. There's a slight bitter note in this, but that bitterness kind of sets it apart from the others. And I say bitter, not in a bad way. The bitterness is actually really good. Now that puts me at my five initial bottles. What do you guys think so far? Let me know in the comments down below if you're familiar with any of these. And then don't forget again to put your five bottles plus that sixth special bottle at the end. And if you're new here and you like this information, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification because I go live with videos or I publish videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I don't wanna just end the night with the five bottles. You wanna bring out something that's considered to be a little bit special. In my case, this is a highly allocated bottle. Even though it comes in at retail around $35, $36, it's very difficult to find unless you're lucky and you find it on an allocated counter, but I highly suggest just be patient. This bottle eventually will come around and you can pick it up, but don't overpay for it. So with that, my sixth bottle is Colonel E.H. Taylor Small Batched Bottle and Bond. This is a Buffalo Trace product. It's rumored to be aged anywhere from seven to eight years. It's Buffalo Trace Mash Bill number one. I got lucky. I found this at the allocated counter at Total Wine and More, and I got it for about $35 with taxes. It was just about 40. And then on the nose, this one comes across to me as oak and spice. Those are the two dominating notes right up front. And then on the palate, same thing, oak, spice, and the sweetness is caramel, honey, vanilla, and a little bit of brown sugar. I wouldn't say the whole lot of brown sugar. This is more on the caramel, honey, and vanilla side. With all these coming in at 100 proof, I don't think any of the proof points are drinking any hotter than the others, with the exception of the Evan Williams. I think this one is probably the one that's coming in the hottest, and I think that might have something to do with the amount of spice that's in there. All of the others, I think, are drinking at 100, and they're not hot at all. And then as this sits on the palate for a little bit, I'm, I get a little bit of like rye bread, bready notes, maybe some Cracker Jack notes as well. Yeah, it's a pretty good one. So there you guys have it. Those are my six bottles of my five bottle flight Friday. Let me know in the comments down below how I did. Put your five bottles plus that six special bottle at the end. And I think that's where I'm gonna leave it today. I hope you guys are enjoying your journey because I certainly am enjoying mine. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.